here's the update this is the one horsepower um, console that I put on this machine right here it's the uh, Thor the CG 1341 and uh, it has a 45 millimeter uh, pulley right there on the motor and then it just has the standard wheel up here on top okay and then there's a control box for it I will show the installation of this it's a little different than any other um, motor that I ever put on the end of machine there's a lot you need to do before you mount it but I will go through that with it I got another motor that I'll take out of the box and I'll set it up on how to show to do it but first of all let's get this thing a test okay here's my ultimate test I'm sewing through eight layers of this mill spec uh, flat nylon webbing this is the most dense crap I have ever sewn through in my life. Um, even though it's really thin, it is densely we woven. And there's eight layers of it. And you just can't tell by me squeezing. I'll measure this. I'll get a set of calipers on it after we get done. The pink thread was done on this Yamada right here. Okay. It had no problem whatsoever. Again, I have the sail right three quarter horse down there, okay, like we've seen before. But on their system, the sail right does, I have their positive pin uh, power drive, okay, and it's, and it's cogged wheels or cogged, it's like a timing belt, cogged. Uh, wheels and on the bottom okay here on the bottom it's a small drive so with that combination um, I have no problem sewing through any material that that could fit underneath the foot and like I say that machine sewing through those eight layers of webbing like it was nothing okay so when I tried it on the machine with this with that servo motor that we talked about earlier uh, this it just couldn't do it unless I unless I mashed down on the pedal but then the machine took off so here we are slow speed eight layers of this nylon webbing Here we go. Oops. What's happening in the belt is slipping a little bit. There, it jumped down to six layers. And this is with no reduction wheels, no reduction pulleys. I just ordered a 45 millimeter pulley just to put on the motor. That's all I did. And I didn't do anything else to the machine. So let's turn it around. Like I said, you'll never sew through eight layers of this crap. Let's go for it. So, there you got it. Uh, you get the proper motor to the proper machine. You don't need you don't need the reduction drive. What I want to do. 
is get a bigger wheel, bigger wheel back here. Um, I wanted to slow it down just a little bit more to where I can have just a little bit more. It's just a little too fast yet, but it was, it's slow enough to where you have needle control. But I want to see if I could get a shaft size and a good wheel size. Probably about an inch or two bigger in diameter. And it doesn't have to be much. And that would and that right there would be just equivalent to what this machine does right here. What the this uh Yamada.